Great Spark! Hey, what's up guys? Cray Spartan here. Today I got some gameplay for you from Elite Assassin. Uh, he actually lent me this gameplay because I still have a little bit of problem uh, recording um, a full game. Though I have figured out recently how to make it a little better, uh, a little easier. I can record up to 10 minutes on Xbox Live. So uh, that's what I'm using for a game capture is Xbox Live. <laughs> it works. That's all I can say. It does work. Um, but let's go talk about the gameplay here. It's actually pretty co close competition throughout the entire match, um, which is something I do like, uh, especially team doubles. To me, I always have feel like I should be playing team doubles with somebody. Uh, it doesn't matter kind of who that is, um, but as long as I'm playing with somebody and I'm able to talk to them, that makes a huge difference in your uh, gameplay. Not saying that's the end-all, be-all, but... Uh, uh, it does help a lot. Now, just like uh, the other night, I was playing with Rap Scallion, Team Doubles again. And by the time we were about done, granted, I think we were both a little tired because it was kind of late. But um, we were literally uh, kind of communicating where I would kind of bait somebody out and they would come and attack us or attack me. And I would back off and then Raps, of course, would uh, finish them off. He would take care of the... The rest of the situation that that was awesome uh, way to attack a lot of the situations uh, there that was me getting a nice little assassination down there um, but that was kind of cool and I really liked that part of it but of course by the end Fraps is a far superior player than I am um, especially after he's warmed up a bit though I do have my moments against him <laughs> which is kind of nice. I think he gets a little little cocky at times, and of course I do take advantage of that. <laughs> but it's fun though, man. I, I do love playing that. Uh, uh, playing online with Raps, which is kind of cool, because actually lately, uh, I've been catching a lot more people on. Of course, like I said, Moss Major's playing a lot more. Um, uh, Raps has been playing a lot more, and especially when he's playing online with friends, it just makes so much more fun. Now we've been playing a lot of customs, which is fun. I do enjoy that. Uh, we played um, what's this uh, called Titan? This map was called Titan, uh, or is that the game type? Titan and Fury. I don't know if you want to look it up. It's kind of a cool little map uh, to play because it's like a bunch of little octagons, more or less. I mean, it's not like an octagon, but it's like five or six different little maps in one system and it's a really cool little setup here we've got that camo guy but that was really fun to play and it really gets you warmed up especially when you get a free-for-all with about five or six people in there that is just absolutely insane remember the, the game type is uh, fury I believe and the map is called Titan but anyways um, on to kind of what I was uh, talking about or want to talk about today is the next Halo game and what I'm really looking for in a story. Now I had some gameplay of the um, the old uh, was the Halo Wars 2. I had some gameplay of that because I felt that Halo Wars 2 actually had the best story in a long time. Now I know some people really enjoyed Halo 4. Uh, stories line, but I particularly didn't enjoy it all that much. The ending was really, it was kind of, I don't know, forced? It, it felt really forced, and I still don't particularly understand how Master Chief survived a nuclear uh, bomb, and uh, I, I just don't know. I, it just doesn't make sense to me, but I don't know. I guess we can just say Cortana protected him at some point and put a hard light shield around him. I don't know. It was really weird the way that ended. Then we move on to Halo 5. And Halo 5 story was an extreme disappointment, if you ask me. Um, I played, let's just say, I played a lot of Spartan Ops. Uh, in Halo 4 just because I enjoyed uh, that type of thing and I enjoyed being online with friends and playing that type and it was fun I actually really enjoyed Spartan Ops um, 
I'm not saying it was better than Firefight, because it's not. But I would say it's better than uh, Warzone. But that's, you know, everybody's own opinion. I just did not enjoy Warzone. I still don't enjoy Warzone. But what I really liked about it is it did advance the story. The story was very much um, taken further. Now, the disappointment, you come back to Halo 5, because they built this thing up around Jewel Madama, and they built it up for literally 10 weeks. 10 weeks they built up this story. And what do they do with Jewel Madama? They kill him within the first, depends on how good you play and what level you are played at, Within the first 20 minutes, Jewel Madama was dead, and it was a stupid little cutscene. Though it was kind of cool, but <laughs> that entire storyline is just dead. They just killed it off. Like, well, if we're not going to do that Jewel Madama thing, and the uh, the Janus key, and we, we're just going to, you know, we're just going to cut that off. We, we don't care anything about that. It's like, come on. And then we're just going to go after Cortana as being the main uh, antagonist. It's like, come on, really? <laughs> but here it is. The good news is that Halo Wars 2, which has an entire new campaign, and I've talked about it in my review a little bit, and I didn't give any spoilers, and I don't plan on doing so as well uh, here. The antagonist, um, Atriox, was extremely fun and enjoyable to fight against. We haven't had that, in my opinion, in a long time since Halo Reach, I think, was the last really good campaign, I would argue, um, against anybody uh, with that statement. And Halo 3 was also, like, one of the best campaigns, uh, story-wise, in, in my opinion as well, because you had your main antagonist. You had Truth, and you knew what he was, and you knew what he wanted to do. He was out set to destroy absolutely everything. Um, based on ignorance, more or less. And Atriox really filled that void that we've had in a long time. So I really don't know how they're going to take this to the next game uh, with the story of Halo Wars 2 because it does connect to Halo War, I'm sorry, Halo 5 storyline in some way. But I'm not going to say which and how, but it does connect. But anyways, this video here is about to wrap up. We're about to clean this clean this match out uh, and get this victory and I'm just really hoping that we're gonna have a really good story in the next game because we were kind of disappointed with Halo 5 thanks for watching guys this is the Cray Spartan and I am out of here comment like and subscribe